they are becoming extinct, and I think their offensive attacks and their attempt to get everything done now is a desperate attempt by the establishment. No, there was there there a time, Alex, when people would view someone like me and say, well, he's being, he's being subpoenaed, indicted, he must be some type of crazy. But in fact, now, 90% of people actually... Uh, can read between the lines and realize that it's almost all political at this point. Anytime someone gets indicted who's in politics, it's almost always a political. We live in a, I mean, I'm an enemy of the state. We, we live in strange times where they're using political prosecution. That's, I'm not exaggerating. It's a politically motivated prosecution process now where people who they disagree with, journalists they don't like, they try to put them in jail. They're trying to and put a top Fox News reporter in jail because he talked to one of the State Department people on record about North Korea and, and is North Korea really capable of launching an attack? That's what a journalist is supposed to do. But that's why the debate about what is journalism and who is a journalist is central just like with the abortion debate, what is a human life or when does it begin? That's all central. This but is you heard Dianne Feinstein, she will judge. She will judge who a journalist is now if she gets her bill passed and they'll strip everyone else. Let's play this clip, get a final comment on anything cool. else and then let you go. I know you've got stuff to do, Project Veritas, James O'Keefe. Here is the latest video making national news with the, with the globalist tart, Wendy Davis, uh, the abortion queen. Uh, making jokes uh, about uh, the attorney general, who, by the way, is fighting carbon taxes, fighting the shutdown of our power plants, fighting Agenda 21. I know people that know him personally. He's a really good guy, and that's why they hate him. Here it is. Battleground, Texas, a group that has formed to turn Texas blue. A group of Obama campaign alumni formed Battleground, Texas, with the thought that if they can turn Texas blue nationally, Republicans will struggle to win presidential elections. We love you! Woo! <laughs> this is uh, Will Davies with Battleground, Texas. There's an enthusiasm level which I was just unprepared for. And I'm really wondering how this is going to work out since he's in a wheelchair and most of the slogans are stand with Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> now. So yeah. it's interesting to me from a psychological point of view how yeah. it's going to play out. And here you all are 11 months before the campaign election day to work on our behalf. And you are the secret weapon. And you are the secret weapon. Yeah, election fraud. Someone that she's too stupid to be governor. Yeah. <laughs> Battleground had to tell her that, you know, we're going to support you and we had to convince her. He's in a wheelchair, but he has no sympathy for anyone or no. anyone. He may have a personality disorder. First of all, not good looking. <laughs> he doesn't speak very well. He doesn't have a good personality. And he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> I'm getting new people registered, making sure that people know exactly how to vote. Are you registered to vote? For Wendy? No, just uh, in general. You've got a Wendy Davis sticker right by it. I do. I'm not registering to vote for her. My husband is not politically active. We had received absentee forms, and I just found his name on one. I mean, is that okay? I don't think that's legal, but I'll, I'll do like Lisa did. <laughs> I didn't hear you say that. You need to do. do it all the time. And again, think about how these these idiots that were supporters of Obama, and that doesn't mean support even Romney, it's, that's how it's rigged. They've all been conned by Obama. He's lied to them on every front, and they still don't care. And you look in their eyes, they are the dumbest, stupidest people. But then they're always led by these, 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 these weak but also evil control freaks uh, that you know that really do want to take over society. James O'Keefe, any other comments about the work you've got going on or things that are happening in the news? And, and, yeah. the, and the next shoe to drop. Yeah, I mean, we, we, well, we're definitely, you know, <laughs> I put on Facebook because Cuomo was issuing me a subpoena. I said, well, I'm going to, first of all, I'm leaving New York. I have an office in New York. I'm going to leave New York. Um, and, and I'll follow Hannity's lead because he said he's leaving New York too. I'll leave New York and I'll move to a different state. And then I'll launch an investigation into Cuomo's office. That's 
That's one of the things I'm going to do. I'm going to investigate Andrew Cuomo in New York State. In terms of Battleground, Texas, we have about you know 100, 200 hours of raw footage that we're, we're, we're cutting down. Jeremy Byrd, President Obama's national field director, said, quote, O'Keefe should get zero ink in any respectable newspaper. So I'm, I'm telling Jeremy Byrd on Twitter right now, we have Jeremy Byrd on tape. We have him on tape. Uh, Obama's national field director. We also have a number of other battleground people on tape committing voter fraud. So we'll be releasing those videos one at a time and forcing the media to talk about what we expose. Oh, so that's breaking. You've got you've got more on these guys. Yes, yes. We even, we have we have, even have Jeremy Bird himself on videotape. We have many, many, many people in battleground Texas on tape, and we're going to be releasing those one at a time over the sure. coming ten months. Well, years ago when I was involved in Republican Party stuff with Pat Buchanan and then Libertarians, we talk about how to convince people that our ideology is better. We don't talk about fraud and scams and underage hookers. And, and it's just, it's crazy when I've gone to Democratic meetings and covered them. It's, it's, it's basically always a circus. These people are, are freaks. They're, they're freaks, and the what thing that we got to do is just expose the fact that they are freaks. You know, it's jujitsu, Alex. You, you take their strength, you turn it into a weakness. All right, James O'Keefe, you're a hero. Just keep it up. Thank a you. lot of courage, folks. Stand with him, support him, and stand with the Attorney General of Texas, Abbott, who's running for governor. Uh, he is a great govern, uh, gubernatorial choice. So is Jerry Patterson over somebody uh, like uh, Wendy, the butcher of baby. Uh, it's incredible. We'll be right back. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds. Just pay shipping right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. What's making Americans sick and fat? It's too many GMO foods and toxins destroying our digestive systems, causing poor digestion and suppressed immune systems. A suppressed immune system prevents clear thinking and the ability to fight the corporate and big pharma agendas. Detox now with Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 liquid probiotic is wheat, dairy, and soy-free, gluten-free, and made with all non-GMO certified organic ingredients. Pro-EM1's power is based in good bacteria, live microbes, and all their metabolites, including vitamins, amino acids, acids and enzymes that support a healthy digestive system, suppress pathogens, and eliminate toxins. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com, or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. It's time for a home security quiz. What effective home security device is smaller than a coffee cup, fakes out burglars into thinking someone is home at your house while you're away, plugs into any wall outlet, is recommended by many police departments, and sells for less than $30? Yes, it's fake TV. This year, about one in every 50 U.S. homes will have a break-in, with burglars usually picking the easy target, a dark house that looks like no one is home. Fake TV is a small electronic security device that makes it look like someone is home watching TV by simulating the light from a real TV. Fake TV could be the difference between coming home to a secure house or one that's been ransacked. To get your fake TV for only $29.95 with free shipping, go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. That's 877-532-5388 or go to faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Come, you masters of war. Here that build the big guns. Here that build the death planes. Here that build all the bombs. 
Look at this headline right here. I mean, this is so incredible. Homeland Security Secretary, illegals have earned right to be citizens. Obama to legalize them as a dictator. I mean, that is just so crazy. And then now the Wall Street Journal, the new fiscal sh showdown builds over new debt limit. They're going to go up to like 19, 20 trillion, 21 trillion, 25 trillion, 30 trillion. T the average person born the year Obama was elected six years ago owes $1.3 million, according to the Congressional Budget Office last week. And if you just don't even, uh, if you want to cut the increase in the budget, they scream racist and run around. I mean, the, and then when everything goes bankrupt, it'll be our fault that weren't for it, of course. I mean, it's easy if, to run things if you want to wreck things. It's, 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 it's simply incredible. And then you've got HSBC and Lloyds of London and others halting, getting money out of the bank. Uh, just so much crazy stuff going. Manipulation of the stock markets. The globalists control unlimited fiat currency through derivatives and other manipulations. Before they would just do, for every dollar in the bank or every pound in the bank, you, you could loan out 10. And the globalists took over the world with that. Now it's just unlimited. So they don't care if they shut everything down. In fact, they want to do that. And if people start valuing a good economy again and start thinking of themselves as empowered individuals that are actually affecting the system and not just jellyfish that just receive propaganda, we will turn the tide. Uh, who are the globalists upset with? Who, who is the Atlantic Council and the CFR upset with? Empowered anti-globalist individuals. Empowered individuals. They're scared of people that want justice. Hey, Warren Buffett, you're not tax exempt and then lobby for my taxes to go up when you're the biggest recipient of it. Hey, UN, you don't get the diplomatic immunity to commit crimes. Don't you get it? They're all exempt from what they do to us. <laughs> that is the ultimate form of discrimination. But, oh, they're busy like, oh, gay, oh, black, oh, oh, to try to divert off into the stuff that's a non-issue now. It's a non-issue. Because they don't want to discuss the other issues. The Ku Klux Klan lost in the 60s, so they flipped the script. And that's why you look at MSNBC, it sounds like a Klan rally. But it's against white people and gun ownership and libertarianism. It's sick. Big city politics where they divide the cities up and play groups off against each other. That's what they base the society off of. Look at this article out of CNET News. Man runs into burning home to save his Xbox. A Kansas man cannot bear the idea of being without his favorite gaming device, so he risked his life to save the Xbox. ABC 15 reported. Could have been killed, ran into it in front of witnesses. And uh, it's just amazing. But uh, uh, they'll probably say he's a hero on the news or something. But if he'd have run in for his child, well, he'd have been tasered. Like happened a month or so ago, the guy ran in to get his child. And firefighters told the police, no, he shouldn't go in there. So they, uh, they tasered him. You know, how about you just let him go in? Oh, you couldn't stop him. He wants to risk his life. Let him do it. No, 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 no. There's only one thing that's illegal in this world now. That's being honorable, standing up to bullies. In England, if you fight back against a mugger, they will put you in prison for decades. The muggers get nothing. When gypsies steal people's motorhomes, travel trailers, they get to keep them. And it's politically incorrect to not say, no, gypsies deserve your motorhome. Understand that? Because it's a criminal government, ladies and gentlemen. And they don't want you to be able to stand up. So being a man is the ultimate crime. Being a good woman is being the ultimate crime. Being honorable is the ultimate crime. Running into a burning building to save your child is a crime in America. Going in to get an Xbox, is a, you'll probably get a purple heart like drone pilots. I'm out of time. Back tonight, 7 o'clock with InfoWars Nightly News. Lord willing, back tomorrow. Support us. Spread the word about the transmission. We can win together. Pray for you us. We'll pray for GCN. you. Retransmission starts now. Visit GCNlive.com today. PrisonPlanet.tv. Great job, crew. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride.